What's up, my peoples? Emgo here, the freak and geek himself, and welcome to another exciting episode of Emgo Build Stuff, the series where I teach you how to draw me like one of your French girls. That's actually a very disturbing thought. Forget I said that. For, forget I said that. But moving on with the Hachettes RMS Titanic, the ship, the legend. So yes, we are on stage five, and here's the magazine for stage five. So let's just take a quick look through the magazine, see what is inside. Thomas Andrews, co-designer of the Titanic. There is Mr. Andrews, who did go down with the ship. Here we have the dry dock in which Titanic was built at the port of Belfast, which is still there, I believe. Life jackets. And from, from tragedy to myth, Titanic at the cinema. So, talking about some of the movies that were made. About Titanic, the cost of traveling first class. Squash. Because you want to play squash, why not? Titanic store. And then we have our instructions and our parts and all that good stuff. So there you have the magazine. Here we have our parts. So let's get down to it. Because as always, ain't nothing to it but to do it. Yes! We are back. We are back to Titanic. Very happy. At least This is at least one build we can still continue. Hopefully, fingers crossed, that nothing, you know, catastrophic happens to uh, the Hachettes or Agora models. But anyway, so yeah, the pieces you can see are now coming in uh, little brown boxes. So this is what we get now. So we just dump out our pots. Come here, pots. Come here, pots. And I think that is it in the box. That is it in the box. Get out of here. And wrapped in tissue paper. Oh, the tissue paper. Oop, we have a little part here. We have some more of the hull. More die cast, and that is it for the tissue paper. And we have a baggie with more pots. We'll just dump all this out. And there we go. So, this is all we are working with in this issue. We're not going to be doing any screwing in this issue, unfortunately. This is a screwless episode. That's okay. So, now let's open up to our instrucciones. I the instrucciones. So, what we are going to be doing in this section is we have hull section and connectors. So, this is uh, what we're doing in this stage. Not a whole lot, but hey, as always, progress is progress. So, we are taking uh, this rod right here. And what is this? This is the shaft. So we are holding this so the flat side is on the top here. You can see here there's a section that sits flush and one that sits lower. You want the flush section sitting upward. So we're sitting it like so. And then we're taking uh, these four little bits right here, the connecting rods, which look like this. There we go. And these are going to get hooked onto these sections here with the with the bigger clip. The bigger clip will be going onto this section here. So we just clip, clipity clip, and clipity clip, and clipity clip, and one more to clippity <gasps> clip. There we go. So we have clippity clip all of that. And that is what we have. So now we are taking these two bits. What are these called? I don't know. Take one link of the section to fit the bar end into the small connector group and the connecting shaft. It just calls them shafts and links and all that. But anyway, we got these right here. And it looks like they are the same on either side. So it doesn't look like there's a specific top or bottom. So, okay, wonderful. So these are getting connected to... So what are we doing here? Wait a second. We do have to have things oriented in a specific way here. So now we have to flip this around. And we're turning it this way. So this is the orientation you want this in now. Like that. And we are just taking these. We're just taking two. And they're getting clipped on to these first two bottom clips here. Clippity clip. And clippity clip. That's it. And that's what we're working with there. Okay, so we got that. 
and now we are here. Again, this is a short stage. But hey, as always, progress is progress. So now we're taking these two things right here. All these little connectors. Lots of connectors. Lots of connecting connectors. So what we are doing now is we're going to uh, raise these up like that. And these are going to clip into these bars here. So it's two bars. And clip that in. This is a bit of a tighter clip. Come on. There we go. Clip that one in and clip that in there. And again, you want this with the, the clip facing upward. That is the orientation that they're telling us to do. So that's what I'm going with. So go there. There we go. And clippity clip right there. Like that. And that is what we. What do we end up with? Right there. That's what we're finishing with. That's what it should all look like. And there we go. And guess what? That is it. That is all we're doing. Uh, this piece of the hull is getting saved for the next issue. So the next issue will be placing this where it needs to go. I guess we'll be placing this where it needs to go also. So this is all we're doing in the stage. It's a very short stage. But hey, progress is progress and that is it that is it for stage five it was short it was sweet but again hey progress i will not complain about progress so there you go that is it for stage five of the build there is our completed as it says here our completed work and that's what you end up with so there you go that is it for this stage of the build short but sweet but hey I am happy to get back to the build here of Titanic. So there you go. Now, if you would like to sign up for your own Titanic kit, there'll be a link in the description down below for you to check out. And if you missed any stage of this build, there is a playlist in the description down below as well for you to check out. And you can watch this lovely ship take shape before your very eyes. So... There you go. As always, I hope you enjoyed this exciting episode of MGO Builds Stuff. And remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek! Be proud! Pum in your face!